Well, I basically started singing in school. Um, my mother had um, a black institution that I grew up in in East Palo Alto, California. And basically throughout my childhood, I performed and the school traveled and performed and did things. I stayed in theater programs and singing and acting classes and dance classes. And um, she one day told me when I was in high school that I should probably study musical theater. And I went to Howard University. At Howard, I studied musical theater. I have a BFA. Our teachers were teachers to a lot of stars. It was amazing to be a part of a legacy. Performing on American Idol was so dope. It happened just really way too fast for me to take it all in because it was really a big experience for me because I auditioned for American Idol years ago here in Atlanta and I wasn't what they were looking for is what they told me. So to be on American Idol during the finale season of a couple years ago, it was just, it meant so much to me. Right before she, I was just basically trying to get into the music industry here in Atlanta and um, just getting my feet wet, going to open mics and uh, sitting in with producers and just letting people know that I sing. Obama is one of the coolest people I've ever met on the planet. Being in the White House at that time, I realized that I was on the safest place on Earth and not even an extraterrestrial was gonna come and get me. And the most amazing part about the night was me actually single-handedly going to get Michelle Obama and her two daughters to come up on stage and dance with us and, and just celebrate the night for their dad. And that was really, really special. What's to come this year is music, finally, from Falami. I've been talking about it for years and I've just basically been going through different genres and different things that to find my voice. And I think I finally found it. So that is what's to come. What it's like to perform on stage is a magical experience for me. It's the best part of traveling. I can get on the plane and be on the plane to go to Australia for a whole day. And it's not always so cool. But by the time I hit that stage, that's when the magic happens for me. And after I get off stage, I'm still buzzing. And I understand when people say they have to chase this high. Fortunately, I don't need that because I have the stage and we're always working.